Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. It's all about eating, drinking, and celebrating the South. The Atlanta Food and Wine Festival is happening next weekend, and it's your ticket to a culinary tour of the region. And festival co-founder Elizabeth Feichter and Suzanne Visithon, owner of Buttermilk Kitchen, are here to tell us more and also make some shrimp in grits, not shrimp and grits. Very different. So we're going to cover this. Hey, ladies, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, so glad y'all are here today. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Okay, so this is the eighth year for the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival. It's, it's impressive to me. Awesome. <laughs> that is impressive. It yeah, really it's is. exciting. Yeah, yeah, so for those who haven't had a chance to go, maybe don't know much about it, give us a breakdown of what happens. Uh, eating, drinking, and exploring the South <laughs> over four <laughs> days. Uh, yes, we are in our eighth year, and we kick off on a Thursday evening, and then we spend Friday, Saturday, and Sunday doing learning experiences and tasting experiences and dinners and events all through Midtown. Um, we're at the Lowe's Hotel and in Piedmont Park again. So this is one of those things you want to come hungry. Right? You do. I, yeah. I would imagine like a, a fasting situation is appropriate <laughs> before and after, if you want to be honest. That's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. Okay, so you're going to be there, Suzanne, and you're going to be making what you're going to show us how to do today. So what do we have? Yes, yeah, so we're doing an event um, called the Bruzy Brunch Festival, mm -hmm. and it's basically chefs are tasked with taking traditional brunch items, kind of flipping them on their head. So I'm doing shrimp and grits, and my version is shrimp in grits. Yeah. So it's actually a grit fritter stuffed with shrimp. Ah, so with a little bit twist, different. You gotta yeah, love it. Still the same flavors, but a little cool. bit different. So okay. well, what do we do? Start off with um, stone ground grits, mm -hmm. which I've just cooked off in a pan. It's got shrimp, uh, red pepper, onions, a little bit of sherry, butter, salt, pepper. Okay. You can finish it with cream, however you want to do traditional grits. Once they're finished, you just actually pour them off in a pan, something similar to this, and you want them to go in the refrigerator, ideally overnight, but at least up to six hours. Okay. Um, what that does is it allows them to solidify and mm -hmm. kind of firm up so that way you can work with them. And then you just take a scoop, scoop you can take out. your hands, yep, and put them right into seasoned all-purpose flour. Okay. Um, and once they look like this, you are just going to drop them straight into a 350 degree fryer. Mm -hmm. um, this is just vegetable oil and drop them about three to four minutes. That's all it takes. And again, they're already fully cooked. Yeah, this so. doesn't seem too hard. It do well, <laughs> this is, you know, don't say it like that. Well, I just mean this is something that <laughs> we, could like actually, something really we could actually try <laughs> yeah, to do this could, at home. You could do it. It's yeah. definitely something a little bit more straightforward that I think maybe people don't think about it. Sure. As being easy, but it, it's certainly, there's no like super technique involved. It's just um, creativity. Just creativity, yeah. I love that. And I love that it, it takes a, a traditional southern staple like shrimp and grits and makes it, you know, portable. <laughs> it's a bite size. Yeah, and we, it's it's all we serve 200 people at this event. So it's wow. got to be something that's bite size, that's easy. Um, and then to plate it, I'll show you how we finish it if you yeah, don't mind giving me this. Um, this is just a sherry and onion puree, a spring onion puree. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that straight down on the plate. Okay. Thank you. Okay. She's a nice, lovely sous chef. <laughs> She's doing Indeed. a good job. And I'm here to help. Just put ah, right check in the that out. Wow, that looks good. Um, these are just a little microgreens, just for some color. Okay. And some lemon oil. Very nice. Just right on there, and that's it. Very nice. So Perfect. if you're sitting at home right now going, oh man, I would love to get to try that. Then this really is the festival that you're going to want to <laughs> come and enjoy. Now tell us a little bit more about those learning experiences that are going to be happening. So we do, one of the things that I think makes Atlanta Food and Wine special is that we have some amazing talent who join us every year and they really help to talk about what is exciting and going on in the region and put together a impressive lineup of classes. So our classes will happen on Friday. We have master studios that happen for two hours on Friday. And then on Saturday, there are three classes to choose from. Um, one, uh, three sessions where okay. we have multiple classes during that time frame to choose from. And then you go out to the tasting tents and you eat and drink and explore <laughs> the South. This is so cool. Okay, so if you get a ticket, do you buy it for a specific day or does it cover the entire weekend? We have so many options. Gotcha. You can buy a ticket to any of our individual dinners and events. Our Destination Delicious event on Thursday night is a great way to kick off the festival. It's a fun event at the Stav Room um, and it has all 13 states represented from the South. And so we have a lot of food and beverage there. Or you can buy a day pass. So our Friday day pass, which includes our class 
classes in our evening tasting tents or our Saturday day pass, which includes our classes in our tasting tents. Or you can come just to the tasting tents themselves. And they are on Friday evening, Saturday evening, and Sunday afternoon. Okay, so if this sounded like a lot, we've got you covered <laughs> with all of that information. But first, I want to say, Elizabeth and Suzanne, thank you both so much for coming thank in today. Thank you. We appreciate it. We have to so see you there to give those a try, no doubt about it. Yeah. A lot of food and wine festival is May 31st through June 3rd in Midtown. And for more information and also today's recipe, you can go to fox5atlanta.com and look for the viewer information story. Time is 918. Now let's get you caught up on the forecast with Fox 5 Storm Team meteorologist Joanne Feldman. <laughs> and there's three of these over here, Joanne. So oh. two for me and one for you. <laughs> oh, I'll that's save so, that that's so kind of you. <laughs> Actually, it's one.